Hey, I'm Tommy. Today I'm reviewing the TiVo Tornado, a fully pre-assembled 3D printer. So I have no experience 3D printing at all. In fact, the only 3D printer I've ever seen before this one was on the internet. So this review is going to come from the perspective of a total noob. That being said, let's dig into this giant box. I got this printer from Gearbest. It shipped in 7 days from Hong Kong. I had no issues and they were very communicative on where my box was. I joined the Facebook group for the TiVo Tornado and it seems like people are having different experiences on shipping times with different vendors, so choose wisely. The printer is super well packed with a high quality foam. They didn't skimp on any of the packaging so it shouldn't damage in transit no matter what mood your delivery driver is in. There's a white test print on the green print surface that shows you how incredible the adhesion is on the print surfaces that the tornado comes with. I almost couldn't get the test print off, even after using the metal spatula that it came with. I found out later it's much easier to remove the prints by heating the bed up to 60 or 70 degrees Celsius first. The initial assembly was very confusing, even though it's pretty much completely pre-assembled. The instructions don't tell you how to attach the heated bed. What you're supposed to do is put these screws through these springs and attach the big nuts to them and level the surface. You know, the instructions don't really tell you much of anything, and the small parts aren't properly labeled. I mean, it's really not that big a deal though because even I, with no instructions, was able to figure it out in about 20 minutes. I spent another couple hours trying to find the space to fit this thing because it is just freaking huge. The printer comes with a spare red printing surface, uh, but I like red a lot more than I like green, as you can see from my studio. It's all covered in red shit. So I just put the red material over the green one uh, right from the get-go. I wouldn't recommend doing this though because the surface does scratch up pretty quick and you're going to want to replace it. It doesn't come with any filament. I bought one kilogram, that's 2.2 pounds in Freedom Units, of PLA filament for like $22 or $23 on Amazon though. And from what I hear, if you're printing inside your house, the, the PLA is less toxic than the ABS. And so I went with that. Before you even get started, you're gonna need to improvise a spool holder because it doesn't come with one. Um, I use this Manfrotto bendy arm thing which, and a super clamp, which I highly recommend. They're very handy for video stuff. Uh, and it just so happens, they made a great improvised spool holder. Getting the filament into the extruder is really tricky at first and requires a good bit of finesse. Just getting that little plastic filament into just the right angle. The first thing you should do when you first turn your printer on is test the auto home feature. If all of your cables are plugged in to the correct holes, uh, it will zero out all the axes. If you have things plugged into the wrong places, the axes will travel in the wrong directions and you should turn your printer off immediately and fix it. Then once you turn your printer on, the little SD card has a few built in things already. Uh, if you hit the XYZ test, it will move your printer around a whole lot, test all the different axes and make sure that it can reach everything appropriately and spit out a little bit of filament in the process. The next thing you're going to want to do is what I did is print an actual spool holder. So before you do that, look what I did. I didn't level my bed properly and my first print came out pretty bad. The bottom was all stringy and uh, I tried to fix it with a heat gun. I melted it a little bit, uh, but it was functional enough. It did work as a spool holder. So I installed it onto the rails of my printer and then I found a better spool holder uh, design and I was like, ah, maybe I'll just print those things. So I let it run overnight and I had put the spool in a really bad location behind the power box next to all the moving wires for printing and the spool knocked over uh, halfway through the night. Um, 
Now my print was ruined, but it was actually really cool because I got to see how powerful the extruder was. It completely grinded up and squished and then ripped the plastic filament off of the spool. And I thought that, you know, maybe I'd messed up my printer. I just turned it back on, ran the print again and watched a little bit more carefully this time. And uh, then my print finished just fine, which was an even better spool holder. On my third print, everything went super smooth. I printed a couple other things and have had no issues or complaints yet. I thought getting started printing was going to be confusing and time consuming. Uh, it was actually really easy. I just assembled the printer and then downloaded a couple programs. Uh, I did join the Facebook TiVo Tornado group to get a couple pointers. And there is um, ideal settings for Cura, which is what I've been using to cut up my files. Uh, so there's a custom profile for the tornado in the Facebook group. If you join them, you can just download it. So all in all, I can say that I'm very impressed with the TiVo tornado and for having a first time experience, not knowing anything about 3d printing, uh, the TiVo tornado has been a excellent thing to use. I'm very happy with it and I can't wait to print more interesting things and do some crazy projects with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.